Hey, beautiful people of the living God. So the Most High wants me to tell you that oppression is being judged. This was his four words. Oppression is being judged. And then the scriptures to tell you this is not going to be long. Um, just oppression is being judged. And that people have been breaking his commandment about not to oppress. So he wants me to read these scriptures to you that you should not oppress any. Um, with Leviticus, I'll start here. Leviticus 25 and 17. You shall not therefore oppress one another, but thou shalt fear thy God, for I am the Lord your God. So God is judging oppression. Now, Psalms 12 and 5, this is what he's doing right now. For the oppression of the poor, for the sighing of the needy, now will I arise, says the Lord. I will set him in safety from him that puffs at him. And he wants you to know who is doing the oppression. Then he also wants me to read the definition of oppression. This is not going to be a long video. This is just God wanting you to know oppression is being judged at this moment in time. He's judging oppression. So the disasters you're seeing, he's judging the rich who are oppressed and the poor. What's oppression? Prolonged cruel or unjust treatment or control. Persecution, abuse, maltreatment, ill treatment, tyranny, disposition, repression, suppression, subjection, subjections, enslavement, exploitation, cruelty, ruthlessness, harshness, brutality, injustice, hardship, misery, suffering, pain, anguish, wretchedness, the state of being subject to unjust treatment or control. Who's doing the unjust treatment? The rich. And who's controlling the poor? The rich and the wicked. Right? Oppression is malicious or unjust treatment or exercise of power. Often under the guise of governmental authority, God is coming to destroy your government authorities or cultural aborium. Oppression may be overt or covert, known or unknown. Depending on how it is practiced, they oppress people in a way that they don't even think that they're oppressed, but God knows it. All right? Mental pressure or distress, all the lies they tell you, all that fear. Now, Psalms 12 and 5, for the oppression of the poor and for the sighing of the needy, now will I arise, says the Lord. I will set him in safety from him that puffs at him. Malachi 3 and 5, I will come near to you to judgment. I will be a swift witness against the sorcerers, against the adulterers, and against the false swearers, and against those that oppress the hairling in his wages, the widow, and the fatherless, and that turn aside the stranger from his right. And fear not me, says the Lord of hosts. God is ready to judge the queen and the king of Babylon for all their oppression. Psalms 10 and 18, to judge the fatherless and the oppressed, that the man of the earth may no more oppress. God is coming to judge you so you don't oppress anymore. And he gave you a commandment that you're not supposed to oppress in Leviticus 25 and 17 for all of his creation. You shall not therefore oppress one another, but thou shalt fear thy God, for I am the Lord your God. So no, it's not to be done. And he's judging it. Ecclesiastes 5 and 8. If thou seest the oppression of the poor and the violent perverting of judgment and justice in a province, that's all oppression. Marvel not at the matter, for he that is higher than the highest regards it. God regards this oppression that they're doing. God regards this perv the perverting of judgment because God hates oppression and he hates the perverting of judgment. Because he's he God is the one who gives out the judgment. For he that is higher than the highest regards, and there be higher than they. Who's the higher than they? The God, the Father. He regards all of this. Zechariah 7 and 10. And oppress not the widow, nor the fatherless. They oppress the widow, single mothers. They oppress the fatherless, the stranger, nor the poor. They oppress the poor. The rich rule over the poor. And let none of you imagine evil against his brother in your heart. God's judging these things right now. 
So Jeremiah 22 and 17, but thy eyes and thy heart are not, but for thy covetousness and for to shed innocent blood, people who are opportunists, people who are misers, that's a covetous person. And for to shed innocent blood and for oppression and for violence to do it, he's coming to judge you. Psalms 119 and 22. Be surety for thy servant for good. Let not the proud oppress me. Who is oppressing the people? The proud and the wicked. Psalm 17 and 9. From the wicked that oppress me, from my deadly enemies who come past me about. Now Deuteronomy 24 and 14. Thou shalt not oppress an hired servant. Someone works for you and they're underpaying you. That is poor and needy whether he be of thy brethren, even if he's your friend, or thy strangers that are in thy land, within thy gates, another nation. It's Leviticus 25 and 17, I'm reading it again. You shall not therefore oppress one another, but thou shalt fear thy God, for I am the Lord your God. Jeremiah 7 and 6, if you oppress not the stranger, the fatherless and the widow, and shed not innocent blood in this place, neither walk after other gods to your hurt. God will have mercy on you. You can read chapter 7 and 6. He just wanted me to read, If you oppress not the stranger, the fatherless, and the widow, because those things are being judged. Psalm 62 and 10. Trust not in oppression, and become not vain in robbery. If riches increase, set not your hearts upon them. Psalm 73 and 8. They are corrupt and speak wickedly concerning oppression. Your world leaders, your governments, they speak loftily. God is against it. Micah 2 and 2. And they covet fields and take them by violence and houses and take them away. So they oppress a man in his house, even a man in his heritage. God is judging them for these things that they've been doing with their oppression. James 2 and 6. But you have despised the poor. Do not rich man oppress you. Who's doing the oppression? That's why God said, woe unto the rich. On the other message where he made me make unto the rich, he's talk, he's judging oppression. This is what they've been doing, oppressing. But you have despised the poor. Do not rich man oppress you and draw you before the judgment seats, the courts, and oppress you with the court systems. What about this? Oppression is malicious or unjust treatment or exercise of power. Your court systems have power, your governments, your presidents, often under the guise of governmental authority or cultural arboreum. Oppression may be overt or covert, depending on how it is practiced. All right? Have you, but you have despised the poor. Do not rich man oppress you and draw you before the judgment seats. Proverbs twenty two twenty two. Rob not the poor because he is poor. Neither oppress the afflicted in the gate. So rich people are not supposed to rob the poor and they're not supposed to oppress the poor either or the afflicted in the gate. Now, this is what he's going to do it to them. Isaiah 49 and 26, I will feed them that oppress thee with their own flesh and they shall be drunken with their own blood as with sweet wine and all flesh shall know that I, the Lord, am thy savior and thy redeemer, the mighty one of Jacob. Jeremiah 30 and 20, their children also shall be as aforetime, and their congregation shall be established before me, and I will punish all that oppress them. The children, God said he's going to punish all those who punish the, who oppress the children of Israel, the children of Judah, and the children from Mount Zion. Deuteronomy 23 and 15, thou shalt not deliver unto, and this is for the people who escape when this tribulation happens. He wanted me to read this. Because he wants you to follow this word. Thou shalt not deliver unto his master the servant which is escaped from thee, from his master unto thee. He shall dwell with thee even among you in that place which he shall choose in one of thy gates where it likens him best. Thou shalt not oppress him. And we're done now after these two precepts. Amos 4 and 1 to do to two hear this word you keen of bashan that are in the mountain of samaria which oppress the poor which crush the needy which say to their masters bring and let us drink the lord has sworn by his holiness 
that lo, the day shall come upon you that he will take you away with hooks and your prosperity with fish hooks. So God is judging oppression and you should know that at this moment in time. Psalms 12 and 5, for the oppression of the poor, for the sighing of the needy, now will I arise, says the Lord, and I will set him in safety from him that puffs I am. Oppression is being judged. Um, take this up with fasting and prayer and build your own relationship with God so you can hear him for yourself. Have a blessed evening. Have a happy Sabbath.